BS scripture of the day for day one. Okay. And we, this is the morning. This is before we had even introduced the, the day one uh, verse to the people. So, uh, to anyone, really. I, I, I was doing the lesson and I didn't even know the, the, the verse of the day for that day. Okay, and so then we, we kept going on, and I, I think God was doing a lot of like stuff within us with all these words because we weren't sure what it meant yet. So we're thinking within us, Lord, what, what do you want to do? And then so, S lie, S lie, S lie. She got the word, she saw, she saw a treasure chest. <clears throat> So, okay, so so Cheryl was hearing, uh, where's your treasure? Uh, Jamila was reading, uh, Jamila was reading where, Matthew 6, 21, where your treasure is, and she saw a treasure chest. Okay, so we kind of got this, like, idea of treasure, okay? So we're, we're thinking treasure, treasure, okay, where's your treasure? Okay, so we go throughout our day, and... And we, me and Cheryl have an awesome time and everybody's like really thriving in, in our time of evangelism. And so then we go into VBS, okay? Jamila meets this lady who Raquel introduces her to, okay? Beach. And yeah, and Ra yeah, on the beach and Raquel's telling her to speak to this lady, Jamila. Okay, Jamila starts this conversation and Jamila's talking about like, uh, like, so like, where do you work or what do you do? And so this girl's like, I, I'm not working right now, but I used to work at this place called Hidden Treasure. Okay, so then Jamila comes to me and tells me this. Well, I walk up to Jamila, I'm like, Jamila, VBS, burst of the day. Look at this, you read this this morning, treasure, treasure. And then like, and then treasure here. And then she's like, you wouldn't believe this. Like, you would not believe this. This lady told, told me that she used to work at this restaurant called Hidden Treasure. And I, at this point, I was like, okay. <laughs> so, so, like, first thing that popped in my mind, we're going to go pray over Hidden Treasure. Like, we're going to pray for the staff. We're going to pray for the waitresses, the waiters. We're going to pray for the owners. We're gonna, God's going to save the whole joint. We're going to go over <laughs> So I'm, so I'm all fired up. Like, I'm, like, telling everybody, like, hidden treasures. Treasures. There's treasure there. <laughs> and so at this point, we're like, okay, we're on a treasure map. Like, we're going from place to place, and God's, like, giving us these little clues to, of where to go and, and where to hit next, okay? The next day, okay, it's like every day God was unfolding it. And, I, and those, like, I haven't even shared it. Like everything today happened, something happened, special, something super special happened. Uh, okay, so I gotta go. Okay, so uh, okay, so we're in the cab. Okay, we're on our way back from VBS, and Illy, my girlfriend, she's like, she's like talking to talking to uh, Marcos, and she's asking like, how's everybody? How's how are they doing? Asking about particular people, and then she she asks about this girl named Monica. And I'm like, whatever, like in the car, just eating my Mexican candy. And then she's like, she brings up Monica and you, you asked, she asked, you asked about the restaurant, right? No. She's like, I asked no. you, I was sitting right behind you and, I, and you said, you had asked something about uh, directions for something. And I said, hey, you ask, ask Marco where this hidden treasure restaurant is. That's okay. What, that's what I this said. This is what and, happened. And then you, <laughs> and you said, wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, babe, that's where I wanted to take you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so we ended up finding out Hidden Treasures Restaurant is owned by the secretary of this church. Her nameplate. Her name is, plate's her on name here, is right? Monica. Her nameplate's on here. Um, her nameplate. Oh, yeah. Find her nameplate. <laughs> yeah. Let's get this document. Yeah, <laughs> We're gonna do this right now. <laughs> Monica Munoz. <laughs> real stuff. Okay. This church. This church is called Sagebrush, and so Monica Nunez is the Munoz. daughter of the owners. Munoz. Mun Monica Munoz is the daughter of the is the daughter of the of the owners of the restaurant Hidden Treasures. Wow. What? <laughs> 
Okay. okay. Tell about the, like what she's going through. And the, we didn't know yet. Not there yet. Yeah, we, we, we told. Or she, he told us in the car. Remember? But like we weren't totally there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had I can't tell it out loud. Though. Okay. Something that was pretty. It was pretty tragic. Okay. It, what happened to her? Was We're, really tragic. Okay, I won't even. No, I'll tell you. I don't know anything. <laughs> okay, so so we found out something tragic had happened to this lady named Monica. So. <laughs> This is crazy. I know this is crazy and I'm super passionate, but for us, pray for this lady. Because we, we, I know this is the Lord. I know this is God. Like, like, uh, oh, okay, so, I'm sorry. In the taxi. <laughs> we were in the, in so we're in the taxi, taxi and, and they tell us, like, that this family was really going through it. But we didn't really know, you know, the, really, the, what, yeah, what it was or how bad it was. So, so the day ends and I, we were like really anticipating going well the next day comes and i was like man we really like okay the first day was like a sign okay now like this is really something like we really got to do this you know so so we end up going to hidden treasures okay and we get there and um we're just like walking ar around and it's kind of funny because we're all like kind of thinking the same thing afterwards we debriefed and we kind of all thought the same thing like when we walked in we felt like just this heaviness but we started praying like over the the ground of the place and then we started feeling like just the holy spirit like i felt like i was walking like gliding through oil like as i was like like in the room i, I felt like it was just so easy as like we we prayed so the dad comes out and he's like can i help you uh, we didn't know it was the dad at the time, but he was like, can I help you? Um, and we're like, are you the owner? And he saw Pastor Raphael and he knows him. So then he was, he was telling Pastor Raphael, like, like, uh, and that's not the part yet. Hold on. He, he goes, and we're like, we, we're here. We want to pray for uh, Monica. And so he goes to the back and he takes like a little while, like 15 minutes. And he comes back out and he says, listen, um, I appreciate you guys. I know you have, I know Pastor Raphael has good intentions. But um, but uh, Monica is just having a really hard time. Like we went through something really really tough, um, and and we appreciate your prayers. But but like we're not gonna see you. So then I'm like, okay, I I, I know that you like. Let me explain to you what's going on here. I I know like this might seem confusing to you, like pastors like organizing this. But let me explain the whole thing to you. So I tell them from from where we started all the way to like where we were. And then he was like, he's like, let me go check on. And so he goes to the back again. He goes to the back again and he takes like 15 minutes again and he brings out his whole family except for Monica. So his whole family comes in and you can tell like the family's just really heavy and like the mom's like, the mom's like, looks like she's gonna start crying already. So we like set up chairs and we have them all sit down and we lay hands on all of them. And I think we prayed for them for a good, maybe, what? I thought it was like an hour. <laughs> no, like 30. It was like 30 minutes? 20, 30. Man, there's no time in the glory. I was like there for an hour maybe. It was like 20, 30 minutes? Yeah. I've been telling people like two hours, <laughs> an hour. I exaggerated that a little bit, guys. <laughs> so 20 to 30 minutes, maybe we were in there. Okay, and we all prayed for them. And, like, everybody had something. Um, and, like, as we were praying for them, like, they were just, you know, broken. They were just broken. And uh, we, like, we finished, and we could totally feel the peace of God, like, we could totally feel like something had changed in that place. And like, we knew like, Amen. I had faith that like, that we left knowing like that Romans 8.28 was about to like unfold in their lives. Like that, like whatever the enemy wanted to use 
super bad, and even though their situation was bad, that God was going to turn it around for good. And and so, like, we left that place. I was, like, super confident. And I, all, I felt like we all had the peace of God in us for that family. And um, we just, it was crazy, like, the words that we were getting for them, like, in that <laughs> moment. So we left, and but we just, like, knew God was, God was in that moment. And uh, anyways, today, like, I went out to eat with, with Jonathan and Katie and Stefan and Alyssa. And, uh, and then coincidentally, like, Ileana, <laughs> Debbie, and Jordan were there. Because if they hadn't been there, like, we would have missed this moment, you know? And I honestly didn't want to eat there. To be honest, I know, I know. He, no, he, he knew that. Yeah. Well, we did it, man. Um, we so we were like eating there, and Ileana comes up to me. She's like, "Babe, like you gotta come. You gotta see this. Like you gotta, you gotta see what what this is." And so I get up and I follow her, and she's like, "She's like, babe, this is Monica." And he's just standing there, like, Monica. Like, you're just so in shock, like, wait, Monica? Yeah, it's because I couldn't believe she had come out of the house. Like, she had been confined to the house. Like, they made it seem like she was in bed, like, every day, and she, which she yeah. probably was, right? T today was her first day out. Today was her first day out. And it's the day after we had prayed we for prayed. the family and prayed for her in, in the restaurant. Wow. Wow. What a confirmation that is for her to see oh Grace, God. to see them. The next day on her first day out. Yeah. Man, is God good or what? And the so smile good. on her face like you never would have known. Wow. She was wow. Glory!